How's it going everybody Mr. Android here. So I have already made a lot of videos on Samsung One UI tips and tricks. Well I know you guys love my Samsung videos. With that being said, I will talk about how you can enable some brand new cool features on your Samsung devices which is running on One UI 2 or above. So make sure you guys watch this video till the very end. Also the like target for this video is 1000 likes. I know you guys will do it. So drop a like and let's get started. Alright guys, first up let's talk about how you can customize your home screen and change the look of your apps folder. As you can see, when I open my folder, it looks very attractive. To customize your home screen and app screen even without installing any third party launcher, just head over to your GoodLock application and download this brand new module called HomeUp. It's a module which enables more customization control for your home screen. You can change the home screen grid so that you can add more apps in your home screen. You can control the background blur. So whenever you open your app drawer, you get this blur background. Now you can control that as well. Guys, you also get the option to hide the icons label without installing any launcher. Other than this, you can also customize and change the look of your app folders. For example, you can change the background color and apply different colors in the background. You can adjust the transparency and change the size of the folders. All in all, this module is super useful and if you really want to customize your home screen without installing any third party launcher, then definitely try out this one. Next up is how you can improve the multitasking and take it to the whole new level. Guys, I can resize any application and then I can open multiple applications at the same time in a pop-up window like this. Let me show you how you can do it. And install this module called Multistar. Here you will find an option called pop-up view action. Just enable it and then increase the gesture size. Now if you are in any application, just swipe down from the edges to resize the app and you can also open multiple applications in a pop-up window like this. Alright guys, the next trick is how you can add 6 of your favorite applications on your lock screen. So that whenever you need them, you can access it directly from the lock screen itself. Guys, to get this feature, again you will need to have good lock installed in your device. And for those who does not have good lock available in their country, then I will highly recommend you to download nice lock from the play store. Now just open good lock and this time you have to install this module called Lockstar. Go to edit lock screen and then select items. Now just enable shortcuts. And here you can add 6 of your favorite applications that you want to access directly from your lock screen. Well it's a very useful feature, be sure you check it out on your device. Moving on, we have one extremely useful feature that you must enable on your Samsung device. Guys, whenever you need to turn off your screen and lock your device, you have to press the power button. But what if I show you one simple trick by using which you can lock your phone by just swiping left on your screen. Head over to your Galaxy Store and download this official Samsung application called One Hand Operation. This application helps you to assign different functions for different gestures. Make sure you enable One Hand Operation and then select left handle and assign the diagonal down action for turning off the screen. Well, you can assign different functions for different gestures. Once you have done this, now whenever you swipe diagonal down from the left, your screen will turn off and you can easily lock your phone. Alright guys, the last feature is only for the Samsung devices which is running on One UI 2.1. Well if you really want to save your battery, then I will highly suggest you to try out this brand new feature which is called deep sleeping apps. Just go to device care and then to battery. Now select app power management. Here you will find an option called deep sleeping apps. I have added some of my application that I don't want to run in the background and it will only work when I open them. So in case if you have installed some applications that runs continuously in the background and drain your battery, then you can easily add them here and save a lot of your phone battery. So that's pretty much it guys. These are some amazing tips and tricks that you should apply on your Samsung devices. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.